Hey folks, dude here. Okay, um, what's today's mission? Today's mission is, well, me going through my stuff. Uh, what stuff do I have? Oh, good lord. Y you know what? I've done so many runs to the, um, uh, the gun shows, and of course the internet, and, okay, of course, eBay. Um, I'm up to my, well, I, I'm, well, I'm completely overloaded with, um, MREs. Now, um... Since we're going to go through MREs, you got to know what an MRE is. Well, first off, it started out as the C-Ration. I have none of those. Um, they started out as these guys. Your dreaded brown MRE. Mm, were they good? Yeah, some of them actually were very good. Uh, they changed the menus over a couple of years. Um, there's good websites on the internet. If you punch it up, like MRE resources or MRE information, just Google it. You'll get a million flipping hits. Um, now, what did they start out as in the brown bag? Uh, some, like I said, were better than others. And um, what's this one? Uh, tuna with noodles? This one's going on eBay as a collector item. I am not going to eat that. Ugh, tuna. Ugh. Ooh, these are good. Oh, man, I wish the hell I could find more of these. Mmm, beef patty with bean commode. And notice they say not for pre-flight use. They mean it. If you go up an altitude after eating beans, uh, you're going to blow up like a Zeppelin and possibly explode. Okay, so, you started out with the brown guys. What did you move up to? Well, you moved up to the tan guys. The tan guys, well, they're exactly the same thing. They just changed the color so you know that... These are much older than these. There's actually a date system. If you look at the box of MREs, and yes, I have a box of MREs. What's in the box of MREs? <laughs> the holy grail of MREs. That would be known as your cold weather MRE. And, and now sometimes they say MRE, sometimes they say food packets. This is a particularly good one. The beef stroganoff. Mmm. There's a dirty little secret about the cold weather guys. Lots of calories, and I do mean a lot of calories. You're operating in cold weather. Well, you tend to utilize better than half your calories simply to maintain your temperature. It's flipping cold, man. You're cranking up tons and tons and tons of heat. Okay, so what is in the cold weather MRE? Not the tan guy, but the white guy. Well, these. That's right. Mountain House. Yep. And I know you're hearing my... Middle East, Middle Eastern, okay, my, my Mid-Atlantic accent, they're Mountain House, uh, they're good, they're very good. What do you do with them? Well, you crack them open, they got a Ziploc, you simply snip off the top, you got the little, you know, edge there, you can kind of tear them, I don't do that, I usually just cut it so I get a nice line, and what you do is, like the directions say, you add a cup and a half of boiling water. These come in a several sizes. Well, this guy is a 16 ounce, and let me see if I can one of the big ones. I don't know where I got them, but uh, okay, these are like my second tier items. MREs. Okay, there's probably going to be roaches, rats, and leftover MREs after the nuclear zombie apocalypse. Call it what you will. Oh, here we go. All right, this is a civilianized version. These are okay. It, you notice it's got the two servings, so it makes. 20 ounces. Uh, these are, well, 16 ounces. 8 ounces per person. That's not a lot of food, man. I'm going to be fighting it out. And I usually eat these things by myself. Okay, what's the biggest difference between this one and the other one? This is your standard mountain house. I think they may have changed the color scheme. This is a little bit of an older one. They store for a very, very long time. They have an oxygen absorber in there. They've been flushed with nitrogen. Good shiznit. Okay, cool thing. Still, it's got the zip. Still, it's got the hack it off. This guy has been vacuumed. Notice sheer size. This guy is like maybe half the size. And, okay, you also have something that is a lot tougher. If you ever played with those bricks of, well, vacuum packed coffee, you drop those things on your foot, man. They hurt. They are not anything to trifle with, they mean business. Okay, so, between the freeze-dried food, the MREs, um, what else do you have? Okay, here's what I do, and this is something that's kind of cool. You want to have several tiers, okay? Car box, right? You got your ready-to-eats. Let me crack my camera over. 
You got your ready to eat, which is never a bad thing. You simply grab that bad boy, crack it open, eat it cold, eat it hot, put it on the engine block, let it warm up for a bit. Excuse me, I gotta take a sip. Ugh, allergies, gotta love them. Okay, second tier. You find your place, <coughs> excuse me again. You find your place, you then have some place that you can heat water. Make your freeze-dried stuff. Are you really making it? No, you're reconstituting it. It's the same thing as what they did in space for, well, you know, forever. It's what they still do forever. It takes a lot of power and a lot of energy to get something up in orbit. Take the water out. It weighs less. Make water by adding oxygen and hydrogen. Bam! Fuel cell. You made power, and of course, now you got something to eat, drink, and utilize. Okay, this is really... Okay, this is about five or six pounds. What is it? It's the MRE pouches. Now, if you look at any of the guys on the service, they'll do something called stripping. And they're not talking about getting nude and, well, dancing in the bathtub. What they're talking about is you take an MRE pouch, you pull out all your entrees. They come in boxes. You take the pouch out of the box, you take out, well, I don't need all this other fault or all, I just need food. So, they take the pouch, they strip out half the crap. Half the load, well, you ask anybody that's humped stuff for a living, half the payload is so much better. And I know a guy that was a Green Beret, and he told me he got to the point where he was cutting the handle down on his toothbrush to save weight. So anything these guys can do to save a few ounces, they're going to do. So what you do, this is one I've done previously, and I, oh, okay, I got about three worth of MREs in this bad boy. By stripping off the packages, breaking down a couple envelopes that really just, well, aren't really needed. So what I did was I simply... Packed them all back in here, got them all shoved nice and tight, so it's a good pouch. Couple layers of serious clear packing tape. Now, what you can do is you can go on the internet and you can get the actual seam welders to put these guys back together and do it correctly. I wasn't so much worried about that. I made a small nick, so it bleeds air. Okay, if you got this thing pumped up and you're trying to fight it into a box and you got it taped up, you're going to have to nip a corner, or you're going to have to do something else to make the thing bleed. Just put a little nick in it. It's really not going to hurt it that much. And if you really want the thing to be waterproof again, small piece of tape, it's waterproof. As a matter of fact, you get some air in there by blowing into it, or doing some other means, close it up, it'll probably even flip and float. Good times. So, basically, in a synopsis for the MRE, you've got, of course, you got your cold weather, you got your brown, you got your tan, you got your civilian equivalency, you got your stripped. What do I do? I do all of it. Why? Because there's different things for different uses. Okay, let me introduce you to another piece of technology. Oh, good times. This is basically just a tote. Is it a really strong tote? No, but it's an okay tote. I mean, this guy is... All right, it's... Let me get my handles all locked in here. It is basically just one of the Rubbermaid totes nothing crazy it's 30 and a half by 14.3 by 12.8 16 gallons that'll fit perfectly in your car's trunk why it's only about well okay it's not even three feet long it's about a foot high it's about you know a foot and change deep this will fit in anybody's trunk yes this will probably even fit in a miata barely um don't use an Miata as your get out of Dodge car, it's just not going to do you good service. Actually, though, you could put a trailer hitch on them and they actually do fairly well. Pretty underpowered, fun little cars. You don't take them off road, they're just not good in that regard. Okay, so here's a basic synopsis on MREs. And, um, well, if you go online, there's really good sources. You can get the tan guys, you can get the cold weather guys. Don't get the brown guys, they're getting, they're, they're getting really old, and I have them pretty much just for, well. Because, well, when I served in the Marine Corps, we had the brown ones. We were just getting out of the sea rations, and I am so glad I didn't have to deal with those things. Because some of the boxes you got from the sea rations when they were getting rid of them and I was in, some of them dated from the Vietnam War. Ooh, not good times. All right, folks, so here's my basic synopsis of MREs. I'm running out of my 10 minutes, like, well, usually what happens. And just remember, I got links here. Check out your links. Go online. Do some research. And, of course, remember, MREs are, well, they're nutritionally balanced because the U.S. government made them to be for soldiers. Good times, and as always, earnest!